Alors. So, we are going back to this therapist chair. <laughs> yeah. They had a Rosie, you guys. There she is. Say hi, Vortex. Okay, cool. All right. So I'm supposed to go through my stuff, but instead I'm going to play music. Because I'd rather do that, you know, for obvious reasons. I'm probably going to wake up the neighbors. We wish that I was a little less crazy. But that's the problem with being some sort of artist is that you keep really weird hours and uh I've been talking to these spiders outside my garage I feel like they're the only real thing in my life at this hour <laughs> they're about 16 spiders guarding my house and then I told myself that maybe there's this giant spider and it's about to eat the rooftop and it's gonna swallow me whole and then I was comforted by that idea <laughs> it's not that bad to be on the side of life or on the side of suicide It's scary, it's so very scary, but I'm not terrified anymore. That's not true. Let's go, I like that one. hard though. No, but the fact that you're just saying along, like it is impressive though. Because it's hard to sing and play at the same time. Especially when you're just, you know, just going with it. It's, you know, like most people can't do that. Well, I can't do what most people can do. I can't vote. I mean, well, I, I did, but it didn't feel right. I just wish that more people would think for themselves. They don't just do what other people tell them to do. Hey, don't people get mad at me? Cause I, I don't do what they do. Just cause they feel threatened by me. I don't understand why you feel so threatened by a crazy bitch who lives on the outskirts of the outskirts of the outskirts. And there are a lot of zip codes up here. Some are very unclear. I don't know where I am most of the time. Sometimes I'm in California. Other times I tell myself I'm in the ocean. Other times I say that I'm underground somewhere. No one can find me. That's fine. I don't want to be found anyway. 
kind of it. I'm just saying all of these things so that I don't have to do what I need to do for myself so that I can feel good about it. Now the thing is, you're working pretty hard. You, you probably should do this tomorrow, like when you're making pot cookies, that would be cool. You'd be like, yeah, guess what, you guys? I wrote this whole set list and made pot cookies at the same fucking time, and I probably get to play music and drink a lot more coffee, drink a lot more coffee. I've been drinking too much coffee to the point that somebody should stop me. I don't have somebody to stop me from all the things that I desire to do, 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 desire to do. I really like that when you speed it up, that's cool. <laughs> Thanks, baby. <laughs> I'm so glad you like it. <laughs> so, um... God damn it. Okay, I just ate a pot cookie, by the way. <laughs> I mean, I ate it, I think, like, 45 minutes ago. I think it's, like, kicking in now. Sure. <laughs> Pretty sure that's what's going on. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but we are halfway through the process. Well, almost halfway through the process, actually. Because um, I've heard that you can you can cook butter for, like, two hours four hours, six hours. I've done it for six hours. I can just do it for four hours. It's still really good shit. No, I know the longer you do it, the, the more potent it'll be. So people tell me they're already pretty potent. So maybe I'll take them out at 6.30. Maybe I'll take them out at 7.30. Well, 2.30, right? 2.30. I'm glad that we can count up to four. <laughs> um, that's, that's good. should be some sort of a, uh, what do you call it, a counselor? I feel like counselors are for, like, people that really want to help people. Because if you're a therapist, if you're a psychologist, if you're a psychiatrist, you're probably not in it for the right reason. And I've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting to, uh, make my ranting about psychiatry and the whole profession, the whole medical profession. I've been waiting to perfect it. I've been waiting to resurrect it and make it something better than just some ugly shit, you know? Because that's what a lot of my stuff sounds like. It's just some ugly shit, some ugly shit, some ugly shit, some ugly shit that I've dissected. Excited on repeatedly because I just want you to see what I see and I want you to be right there with me. Let's go back in time, shall we? psychiatrist. He diagnosed me bipolar. They all diagnosed him bipolar.
no, no, no. Yeah, that's nice. Now you're gonna see bipolar. Cause they, they want their jobs to be easy. And you know, if it were something like a personality disorder, that means there's really nothing they can do for you. So why would you keep coming back? They just send you away anyway. The only reason my therapist took me on was because he didn't believe me. He didn't think that I was a real borderline personality until I proved it. Oh, I proved it. Oh, I fucking proved it. I was just super quiet. talk to him for two years that's what happened you know just totally stop talking to him didn't text him didn't call him didn't tell him what's going on didn't tell him you know like fuck you or i'm leaving goodbye i don't want to see you anymore i didn't say any of it i just stopped seeing him that's some fucking borderline shit snaky I like that, just kind of random, you know? Maybe he'll believe the next crazy bitch that comes to him and says shit like, hey, I think I know what's going on with me. Maybe he'll believe her. I'm sure it'll be a she. Maybe it'll be a he. Maybe it'll be a he, she. He, she, she, he, we, me. We, me. That's funny. I guess I'm pretty high. <laughs> Just looking at myself in this video, I look pretty satisfied, which isn't typical. Unless I'm, you know, really baked. <laughs> I'm lucky though. Some people have nothing. But shit like God. And I wonder what it's like to be those people. way too excited there but it's good it's fun it's so much fun they'll actually watch that i know they would if they knew about it but they don't know about it you know we're talking about some right borderline personality therapy psychiatry psychiatrists are full of shit um yeah psychiatrists they don't actually want to help people that need actual help they want to help people that need like a little teeny tiny bit of help, like neurotic people, you know, neurotic people that have like regular ass mood disorders, like bipolar, like, oh my God, you have to take medication, just go see a shrink and then be done with it. You know, you don't have like to worry about like pretty consistent 
bullshit like in your head like all the time it's just like bipolar is just very like randomly symptomatic it's crazy like you can like experience it like you can have you can be bipolar and like not even know it then all of a sudden like you just like go through something crazy and up in a psych ward or like try to kill yourself or some shit like it's it's crazy which is why it's dangerous because it's like unpredictable you know borderline is really crazy because it's moody and it's way more problematic of a disorder but I expect to be moody all the time. Like, because I know myself so well, it's pretty awesome. But see, a lot of people don't understand that. They're like, how can you be crazy? And you like know everything about yourself. And like, you still, you call yourself crazy? Like, what the fuck? I'm like, well, yeah. I know me. We know what's going on. We know exactly what's up. Not just like the general consensus. We know all of it. We know all the fucking details, man. We know exactly what's going to happen before it happens. And not just like with us, but with like everyone. Crazy. Well, everyone that we pay attention to anyway. And it's funny, there are people that like I didn't pay attention to before and I pay attention to them now. Probably in ways that they don't want, you know? Don't you hate that when, like, you just wish that you didn't think about somebody, but you do? <sighs> a lot of times this happens with romance, but, I mean, it happens with friendships or acquaintances or colleagues. People I work with, too, like, it's terrible. Like, I, I don't know, I don't, I don't really have an issue with anybody I work with. I mean, they, they annoy me sometimes with whatever. I annoy them, too, I know. Um, but... One of my coworkers, they love to vape. I know I've mentioned this before. I really hate vaping. Vaping is really stupid. Um, but I don't. I wouldn't care if they if they vaped. You know, if they just you know did if they did other stuff besides that. Um, my manager, like, I'll just find him in the fucking office on his phone, like, just vaping. And you know, it's funny to me is that like you're doing this a lot more than like people smoke cigarettes you know like i was a chain smoker you guys i smoked like two packs a day love that shit um i have to like talk myself out of like going to the gas station and buying cigarettes because i know that like i mean it's not worth it especially with you know fibromyalgia and like that my throat like hurting me it's really not smart for me to smoke i was gonna save some more weed like just just to have like a teeny tiny bit of it to smoke, you know, occasionally, but I'm like, no, put it all in the cookies. Um, <laughs> Cause yeah, I was like, I already smoked a little bit before I went to work today and it was just like, it was awesome, you know? I was enjoying it, but like, I don't know. I'm much more into Eddie's now. Call them Eddie's. You guys can have an Eddie if you come over here, if you come all the way out here. Oh, and by the way, Comedy therapy is no longer going to be the first Sunday of the month. I've decided that I'm just randomly going to do it. And I'm, I'm going to, like, every single time that I do it, I'm going to shoot a video. Now, I'm going to do, like, comedy for myself, and that's, that's going to be shot, and people can watch that. Now, whenever I rape somebody or whatever, like, I'm giving other people the option. Like, if you come all the way out here, you have the choice. You can have this videotaped or not. We could just do this, you know, just us. Um, or we don't. We can involve the vortex. I think a lot of people would have a problem with, you know, talking about the kinds of things that I just very nonchalantly talk about. Um, so... <laughs> and that's why that's why they're getting the option especially if they come all the way out here like so i'll videotape some of it maybe not all of it but it's just i mean i don't videotape everything that i do anyway like like today i drove to work and it was awesome to just be a person driving to work and not have to fucking document it let's just cheers to that cheers to just being a regular ass person from chicago originally by the way I mean, not Chicago, like, I mean, St. 
think I went there like once when I was a child and my mother told me that I just like remember asking her about all the homeless people. <laughs> like, I, I mean, I, I really don't, I don't even remember it. My mom, my remember, my, 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 my mom remembers that. Like, that's what I, that's what I did. I asked about the homeless people. Um, <laughs> so I was very cultured at a young age. You know, I wanted to know all about different, you know, lifestyles and, uh, uh, my parents are very like traditional, very like white bread, conservative, like stick up the ass saltines. Um, <laughs> I love them to death. They're, they mean well, but they, they just don't know. They're so conservative. Like, it's just, I mean, they defend all this stuff that I like bitch about. And so like, <laughs> I, I mean, I'm worried that like, They'll watch this and be very horrified and disown me or something. Um, Cause I mean, my, my dad is just like ultra vanilla, like capital B. I mean, like he told me, my dad said this to me, Amy, everything that you do, everything that you say offends me. <laughs> I think it was everything that you say. Because you really don't do offensive shit. Other than, you know, well, document stuff that you do. That's... See, why is, like, shitting offensive? Everybody does it, so how is it offensive? Is it offensive because it's voyeuristic? Or is it just, like, offensive because it's weird? Or out there or whatever? I think it's out there and just people document, like, like so many things, you know, like, I think it's weird that people pose for pictures. I don't know. Like that, but they do it like all the time. Like they do it when like, they're just going to like the post office or some shit. It's like, it's, it's just not necessary. Like, remember when pictures used to mean something like you used to like take a picture and you were like going on vacation. Or like when you were going to prom or some shit. Family photos, God, those were always terrible, right? It's like, okay, pretend that you guys love each other. Pretend that you, you really want to be here being affectionate. Like, God, you just have to, I fucking, posing is just terrible. It's like, it's like a family photo is even worse than like taking like a baseball photo. Cause like, I actually like baseball photos. So it's just like, you just, you know. You just, uh, <laughs> kneel down, kneel down and smile or just look mad or look like you're taking a mugshot. Um, but yeah, like, uh, <laughs> uh, baseball photo, baseball photo. Um, what were we talking about though? God damn it. Posing family photos. Yeah, family photos, you gotta, like, just stand there and be like, you know, like, like, put your hand on your sister's shoulder and, or, like, just, like, like, put your arm around your dad or whatever. It's just so, it's terrible, man. It's fucking terrible. And I was like, you know, families always remember, like, oh, yeah, that was an awful day that we had to take that. <laughs> all those photos. I don't know why people pay somebody professionally to do, like, why do professional photographs anyway? I mean, I'm not saying that photography ain't, like, a worthy profession, but I, I'm just, I don't understand why you'd pay somebody to do that shit, especially not now, you know? With, not, especially not, you can't even talk. I, I talk in my own language, you guys, and a lot of times I don't even understand it because I'm an alien. <laughs> Down it was like that just was, but there it was. You guys, it's almost 4.20, and by almost, it's like nine minutes from now. I always get excited when 4.20 is approaching, you know. I like that skull. I think it's pretty cool.
Okay. I love that. It sounds so good. And I wish that I could sound as good as I sound inside my head. Like, you know, whenever I hear music, I imagine myself dancing, and I'm so much better inside my head. I like the way that you play, though. The way that you hold the keyboard. It's just cool, man. Yeah, and this keyboard is not too heavy, so. You, you could get a strap, though. Or I could just, like, take the thing and duct tape and just... Or, like, not a, a sash. <laughs> Why? Why a sash? They're like, it's silly. They wouldn't be able to hold it. You're better off with the duct tape. But that's way too much duct tape. I have a lot of duct tape, though. Pink and blue duct tape, you guys. You could make a strap out of duct tape. I'm so excited. Okay, well, I'm probably gonna have to buy more duct tape, though. That's the problem with that idea. But we'll see how it works out. See, I always come up with these brilliant ideas right when the cookie kicks in. It's like, oh my god, yes. It's not really brilliant at all. It's just it's stupid. It's like, oh my god. Uh, a, a, a duct tape keyboard strap. Wow. You know? <laughs> I wish the people that knew me back then could see me now. And maybe they will. But probably not. Till I get more established. And I think it'll take a while for me to get established. Cause people don't like what they don't understand. People don't like when somebody crazy claims to have the upper hand because she sees the things that other people don't. Doesn't register with them. Cause they're not paying that kind of attention. I like how you're not really playing, you're just kind of like banging on. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go stir the.